So today's video is a companion with my video and now podcast, Hell is For Real. So in today's video, I'm going to be talking about the book Preparation for Death by St. Alphonsus de Liguori because I think that is one of the best ways to prepare for death so that we can avoid hell and get to heaven to be with him who we love forever. Hey guys, Laura here from What Laura Likes. So in this short video, we're going to talk about the book Preparation for Death. I was going to actually wait until summer to talk about this book, but I had a dream. And in my dream, I went to my particular judgment. And oh, let me tell you, when you see your sins it, through the eyes of God, you will never want to sin again. And so leading up to this dream for the last few months, I have been reading St. Alphonsus de Liguori's Preparations for Death um, every night before I go to bed. It is the last thing that I put in front of my soul, my brain, my eyes before I... I you know, end in prayer. And a lot of the times the book actually compels me to stop reading and start praying to God, begging him for mercy, or as St. Alphonsus does in every chapter, saying, thank you for not allowing me to die in mortal sin. It does just that. It prepares you to die because we don't know if we have the next hour, let alone another day, week, month, or year in order to get our souls ready. And so if you are not ready to die today in this moment, then you need to do the work to get there. And that's what's so beautiful about our church is that we have the sacraments in order to make it to where no one should be afraid to die. No Catholic should ever be afraid to die. And no Catholic should really fear hell if they are walking on the narrow path, pursuing the narrow path, choosing virtue and rooting out vice, and yes, it's a tall order, but God asks us to be perfect. That doesn't mean we're perfect today, but it means we're striving to be perfect and we're striving to, you know, enter through the narrow gate to get to heaven. The book is a set of meditations. So there's an overarching topic and then there'll be three separate subtopics where he takes just a little bit of time and pulls a lot of saint quotes and sometimes, you know, scripture quotes and then talking about that specific issue. And then he will at the end have a, a prayer of, you know, just affection and thanksgiving and a plea always ending with asking Mother Mary for the gift of final perseverance. And it's just a very beautiful book of meditations. Once you start really meditating on what heaven is and what hell is and and the, the, the souls that die in a state of mortal sin and, and what that looks like to, you know, choose the, the broad path. And oh, there's, it, you know, yes, it's a serious, heavy topic. But as Catholics, we know that eternity is really our reality. This is how I explain it to my kids is that this world, it's almost like a video game, this world. You know, we're trying to like get to the end and win the prize. The prize is the reality of heaven and our eternal life. This life, you know, it some some for some it only lasts a few days and for some it lasts, you know, a hundred years. But that's in the grand scheme of things, that's such a short time frame. And so if we are not thinking about what happens after we die and death is the one thing that every single human being has always and forever held in common, then we're fooling ourselves and we're, we're, we're way too worldly if we're not thinking about death because death in and of itself is eternal and spiritual and, and of God, right? It's our, it's our birth into eternity. And we have the ability as Catholics to get to our particular judgment and for Jesus to open his arms to us and say, well done, my good and faithful servant. That is, you know, that is what we want from, from Jesus Christ. And so if we aren't there, if we, you know, aren't ready to face our particular judgment, then the sacrament of confession is only a phone call away. Call your parish. See if your priest is available today. And if not, then go the next available moment and make an act of contrition. Do your 
examination of conscience and all that at home and really start working on your soul, rooting out these things, maybe journal about it and say, I'm done with this vice or that vice or this defect or whatever it is, because through God's grace, we have the power to get rid of all of it. And I am a testament in of itself. There were so many things I was doing three year, three or four years ago that I no longer do. And I'm not, not that I'm perfect, but that you can overcome great grave sin in a very short time if God gives you the grace to do so. And if you avail yourself to the sacraments of confession and frequent communion and the daily examine and a deep prayer life and walking in virtue in your vocation. So whether you listen on the podcast or check it out in the uh, link at the end of this video, I suggest you re-listen or listen for the first time to Hell is for Real. It's one of my most, I guess, successful videos in that I got a lot of positive feedback that it was very helpful to other people. And so it was definitely led by the Holy Spirit. And I just pray that every single human really comes to the realization that the hell is a real place and many souls go there. And it is, it's beyond anything we can imagine as humans. You picture the worst, absolute worst torture you could experience or the worst sorrow you could experience here on earth. That's nothing compared to what hell is. And so we want to pray for our family and friends who are away from the church. We want to pray for conversion. And we want to say, Jesus, Mary, Joseph, I love you. Save souls all the time. Make more vacations for the souls that are here on earth, because once we face our particular judgment, that's it. There is no more time. So don't waste the time that God gives you today in this moment. So tell me down below if you've read Preparation for Death by St. Alphonse de Liguori. Tell me if you're going to get the book. Again, it's only 99 cents, so why not, right? And just, you know, find a quiet moment, whether it's in the bath or at the end of the night or early morning or just, I don't know, go hide in the bathroom for five minutes and pull out your Kindle or your phone and just take a few minutes with God through St. Alphonsus to help you really prepare yourself for the true reality, which is eternity. All right, guys, let's end this by asking Mother Mary for the gift of final perseverance. It's one of my favorite things to ask her so that unlike Solomon, near the end of our life, we don't turn from God, but we persevere to the very end in love of Jesus. In nomine Patris, Fili, Spiritus Sancti. Amen. Ave Maria, gratia plena, Dominus tecum, benedicta tu mulieribus et benedictus fructus ventris tui, Jesus. Sancta Maria Mater Dei, ora pro nobis peccatoribus, nuc et in ora mortis nostrae. Amen. Namine Pachus Fidi Spiritus Sancti. Amen. So like I said, you guys, I now have a podcast, so you can listen to all of my new stuff either here on YouTube or or in podcast format. And then you can also catch some of my older videos on podcast format now, as well as, of course, here on YouTube. It's been almost four years here on YouTube. It's been an amazing adventure, amazing <laughs> journey. And I don't know what God has in store for the future. I am just his instrument and I am willing to do whatever he says, whether that means to go forward and or pull back or who knows what. Only he does. So all glory to God forever and ever. I'll talk to you real soon. Pax Christi. Bye. Mm -hmm.